It's shaping up to be an incredibly busy day on February 19th in Lima, Allen County. That's the day Governor Kasich will give his State of the State address in downtown Lima. The highlight of the day is the governor's speech, but there will be a whole lot more than just Kasich's address. A local committee of elected and community leaders met again today to go over a wide range of ideas to greet the incoming dignitaries. Those issues include transportation, tours, signage, lunches, committee hearings, and receptions. A lot of work to do in a short period of time. One of the things uh, I'm impressed uh, with, frankly, is, is uh, the, the coordination among uh, the governmental sectors, the private sectors, and the media uh, with making sure that this uh, becomes uh, a, a great day. Um, you know, it's, it is a, um, it's, it's a, a governmental event, a, it's, it's a public event, and, but it's, it's certainly, a, in another sense, a political event. So we want to put our best foot forward. Tours are being planned for legislators all over Lima Land, from the hospitals to the Joint Systems Manufacturing Center, the museum, the refinery, and many more. There will be actual committee hearings as well. The House Health Committee will convene at St. Rita's. A Senate hearing on school safety will take place at Lima Senior, and a joint committee on workforce development will happen at Apollo. I'm going to send an, uh, In addition to that, um, the cabinet members will be visiting a variety of uh, agencies and other public officials that are pertinent, of course, to their um, their area of, uh, of involvement. So, um, and, and members of the public, uh, of course, that uh, care about those particular sets of issues are going to be invited to that, uh, encouraged to attend. Supreme Court justices will visit the 3rd District Court of Appeals and the Law Library. The, La the Lima Building and Trades Council will hold a reception for legislators at the Veterans Civic Center, and the committee will begin searching for sponsors to pay for such things as transportation, lunches, and signage. The estimated bill is $30,000. We have snow in the region today along with continued cold temperatures. Meteorologist Kyle Adams joins us now with more in our quick.